Sports NOLA TV is brought to you by Premier Automotive, where 100% satisfaction is their goal. Premier is proud to offer their exclusive warranty for life, as well as a money-back guarantee on new and pre-owned vehicles. At Premier, we believe that our people, plus the right attitude, will result in the best automotive buying experience for you. Visit a Premier dealer near you. Check out all of Premier's great deals at PremierAutomotive.com. Ken Trahan, Sports NOLA TV. LSU and Mississippi State didn't have to worry about overtime. They settled it in regulation. Mississippi State pretty much settled it early because they absolutely dominated this football game for the better part of all but four or five minutes, Brian. This was taking candy from a baby, and this was embarrassing for LSU to get blown up at the goal line four times. Where's that great offensive line we heard about? We haven't seen them this year. Kenny, we talked about those two uh, whitewashes that they, they did against the two previous opponents, uh, Sam Houston State and ULM. Look at this. I mean, this they got over 300 yards between the tackles against LSU. Between well, the well, tackles. To me, to me, Ricky, that's not just execution. That's scheme. This is a guy that runs the football four or five times. Now, this is just a special athletic play, but four or five times, he just takes off up the middle, quarterback draw, and there's nobody there. How can you not spy him and be accountable for this guy with his tremendous running ability? I'll tell you what, I was usually more worried about their receivers than anything. I mean, they weren't thinking about the quarterback running the ball. And you can see yesterday that they had nobody to spy or worry about the quarterback. And when they finally started throwing the ball, they had success, Brian, but it was really too late. Well, you know what, obviously, what's, what's transpired here. Well, all right, there's an example. What does Stan Mullen, what does he have them in shotgun formation or trying to run out of clock? No, no, no. Get, okay. under, get under center. Yeah, exactly. I mean, please. Okay. And Look, Brendan, Brendan Harris came in and did a very good job in Malachi Dupree with two touchdown results. I'm telling you, I, I thought this when they decided to go for it fourth and inside the five to put it away when it was 37, what, 16 or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking, you know what, you want to get the points there, Kenny, in right. my opinion. He's trying to let you back in yeah, the game. Yeah, he let him back in the game. But but look, there is a quarterback controversy, okay? I mean, they're, they're going to have to do something. To me, Jennings is not the answer, all right? Any, any, any time a guy completes 50% of the passes for the better part of three games, at, at that level of football, in a, in a, in a, for a team that is competing for a national championship, if you will, that's not good enough. Well, what he showed me yesterday is inaccuracy rolling. I yeah. mean, whenever he got outside the pocket, he didn't look uh, comfortable at all. And I thought that would be his strength when he get out of the pocket and make some great throws and great plays. Looked like when he got out of the pocket, he didn't really know what to do. Well, Prescott was great, but LSU's defense was really soft. And their offensive line, very disappointing. They rushed for 89 yards yeah. in this game. And if Mississippi State is going to play the run and play it all day, then you got to throw the ball earlier right. and give your quarterback a chance to make a play. I don't know if Jennings is good enough or not. I, I have mixed emotions about that. But you don't put him in a position to succeed by run, run, and then pass on third and long, which everybody in the building knows you're going to do. As for Brennan Harris, hey, listen, he played well. He, he's got a good arm. He has some ability. But he's a freshman. And this is the SEC. And he was playing against three-man fronts with time to throw the ball. So, Ricky, it's a different game situation at that point. Yeah, and I, I tell you what, though. The coordinator for LSU, I don't know who tell them that. They think that they have to run their first two balls and throw. When they should have been four wide, five wide, they should have spread that thing open a long time ago and made Mississippi State get out the uh, big front. And you can see the difference. Whenever they threw the ball, it was success. But otherwise, you know, they didn't have it. And I agree with you completely. Uh, I'm right there with you. Sometimes you have to do what the, dictate, uh, the defense dictates to you. And if they're dictating to you that you need to throw the ball, throw the ball to set up the run. Make them honest. They didn't do that. As a result, LSU drops in the latest polls that are out. The AP poll still with Florida State number one. LSU dropping to 17th. And you note that Alabama, Auburn, Texas A&M, and Ole Miss are in there, by the way, Mississippi State's in the top 25 now, too, ahead of LSU. In the coaches poll, the Tigers are 18th, and Brian, that's about right. That's where they should be right now. You know what, based on what we saw Saturday night, this, this could be a four-loss club before it gets all, all over and done with. Uh, they could lose three or four more. Well, I mean, they never get back into the top 10. I mean, you know, that, that's the whole thing about it is, you know, they can't win the national championship now. We don't see where there's a national championship team. And, and LSU, that's the only thing you look for now. You look for them to be 
national championship mind, you know what I mean? And they don't have that this year. Well, to me, the, the fundamental problem under center is this, is that you've got, uh, in Jennings, you've got a guy that's not a, a good, efficient passer, all right? He's a good deep ball. Yeah, yeah. and that's and, it. That's okay? his best throw. It's yeah, and, but he's, he's not, he doesn't move the chains very well. And then secondly, the other guy, Harris is a young, uh, unproven freshman who's having a hard time learning the game plan. So they've got some, that's a big problem under center right well, now. Well, you I know think. who else got that same problem? Alabama. Alabama yeah. got the same problem. I mean, they look just like LSU mm -hmm. two quarterbacks. I mean, you don't know what they're going to give you but, on Sunday. But they don't look like LSU because up front they're better than LSU on defense and therefore they won't let Mississippi State go for 500 some odd yards against them. I don't think so anyway. So we'll see. While LSU was busy losing at home, to Mississippi State, Tulane was in North Carolina playing the Duke Blue Devils, who now, by the way, are in the top 25 after they <laughs> took apart Tulane, scoring 47. And this game was a lot closer to the final score. Tulane ran the ball well, but they turned the ball over five times, too many interceptions by Tanner Lee. And Brian, for the life of me, as I wrote, this is the worst kicking game I have ever seen in the history of Division I football. Shame on Tulane and really their coaching staff and recruiting staff for putting this kicking game on the field. I'm talking about every capacity. Plays kicking, punting, returning, coverage, snaps. Have you ever seen anything this bad? <laughs> no, I haven't. And, and you knew it was bad when, when the, uh, the long snapper pulls his hamstring in pregame warm-ups, all right? I mean, it, it, you're absolutely right, Kenny. Uh, you know, they, they have other problems, but there are none as glaring. And look, I'm, I'm I mean, Tanner. I, I wonder. Yeah, yeah, I know Tanner. You want to throw to the guy in the white jerseys, not the blue jerseys. I wonder if he's got if he's colorblind. Sometimes he's got a great arm. He's got a great. There's another example of that. Uh, another guffaw right there on the special teams. You turn around and throw. It looks like Daryl your Premier, doesn't he? It's just unbelievable. And of course, the penalties too. Just a host of penalties. I think 12 overall, five turnovers. Lizetra Thompson of St. Charles Catholic. Well, they've got good running backs. Look, Sherman Bainey's really good. They got good running backs. They're a little better up front than they were last year. But when you kick it that bad and you turn it over that much, Ricky, you got no chance. Well, I mean, you know, just looking at the whole program as a whole, you know what I mean? You're looking for that program to start going forward a little bit, you know what I mean? They got a new stadium now. They got a lot of young players, but they got to get better. You can see coaching that special team, I, they spoiled, you know what I mean? Last couple of years they had great kickers and stuff and the special team was good. And they didn't, you can see that they didn't go out and uh, keep that going. That's the trend that you got to keep going, special team. And I know it's not easy to recruit against the big schools when you're too lame, but the kicking game is a different story. You had Cairo Santos, he's in Kansas City now, but you've got to have a better kicking game than that. And it's going to get tougher, Brian. They're going to Rutgers. I look down the road, they got East Carolina, top 25 team, Cincinnati. We said it before the year, tougher schedule. It's going to be hard to get the four at this stage based on what I'm looking at. And they've got fundamental problems in that, you know, they were running the ball so well, Kenny, against Duke. Uh, and, and look, you've got to throw the ball at some point, but they get down into Duke's red zone and you're faced either third and long or, you know, th uh, fourth. And, and they've got to throw the ball. They can't kick a field goal because you never know what you're going to get. So they they actually have to play down in the but, second but, quarter. But Brian, my whole thing is how, how long these guys are going to look for a pass over Tulane? You can't keep saying that, you know, we young, we this, we that. It's about winning ball games. It's time for Tulane I agree. to I agree turn around and win ball games. I agree with you. And I'll tell you what, we're talking about Jennings and Harris at LSU. It's time to start having a conversation about Tanner Lee and Devin Powell or Nick Montana at Tulane. As much as I like Tanner Lee, you can't turn the ball over 10 times in four games and have a chance to win. When we return in just a moment, we'll talk high school sports as we continue on Sports NOLA TV.